Also tonight, Tonawanda Coke's DEC hearing is on hold as the company and state try and come to an agreement. Now, part one of a two part hearing was adjourned today after just minutes after minutes just after it began rather. And that is yet another very frustrating hurdle for all the clean air advocates who want the plant closed and closed for good. Channel 2's Heather Lee has more on the delays and why opponents say, hey, enough is enough here. Clean air activists are tired of Tonawanda Coke getting more time, time and time again. This is pretty par for the course with Tonawanda Coke. Um, let's keep dragging this out. Today's DEC hearing was adjourned just five minutes after it started. Both sides agreed to the delay and will have a conference call Friday instead. This is just another example of how corporations are privileged in the criminal justice system while regular working people have to bear the brunt of their decisions. The hearing was supposed to be part one of two phases and center around Tonawanda Coke's violations of petroleum and chemical bulk storage and certain environmental permits. They're hurting more people than they're employing over the years. Enough is enough. They've been found guilty, guilty, guilty. Tanawata Coke has a history of violating environmental laws and the DEC wants to revoke its permits to operate. A federal judge just gave the company more time to make its final $2 million community service payment from a 2014 sentence. They knew about that four years ago and now they're asking for an extension. I mean, it's one thing after the other. The company says if the Coke ovens go cold, it would take $70 million to rebuild the entire facility. Do you think that there's some concern that if the company closes, again, they're not gonna have money to pay fines, that ends up just a, a barren wasteland uh, and no tax revenue from that? Well, they're, if they close, they still have to pay tax revenue in some regard. Uh, I look at it this way that I'm not worried so much about the barren wasteland because we have programs in place to take care of those. I look at the health and welfare of our community. That's the number one thing that we should be talking about. If people are out there saying that tax revenue matters more than the health and welfare of our community, they're wrong. Tanawanda Coke opponents say the company seems to be kicking the can, trying to buy even more time at the expense of the community. But is it special treatment? I, I do not believe the judge is giving them a, a benefit because they're a corporation. I can tell you the Tanawanda Coke is getting no benefit from Erie County. I don't think they're necessarily getting a benefit from the DEC but it's time to act. It's been too long. Is there anything that can be done at a higher level than the DEC to shut them down once and for all? Well, first of all, I think, you know, the federal government and the state government have, you know, done their job in terms of citing the violations. It's an enforcement issue at this point, and I think, you know, people are sick and tired of the delays. Uh, they want decisive action. Clean air advocates I talked with earlier today said that they remain cautiously optimistic about the outcome of Friday's conference call. They are disappointed, though, at the fact that this won't be a public hearing like today was supposed to be, but say that they're not at all surprised that this is the route the DEC is taking. We should mention that attorneys for both sides left today's hearing, what happened of it, without talking to reporters. Heather Lee, Channel 2 News.